Hey guys, today we're going to be going through how to download the Train Tech View software on your laptop. Um, this software is used for C530 controllers. Typically, they're on uh, train chillers, screw chillers, water cooled chillers, scroll chillers, all that stuff. Uh, some of the things you guys are going to need obviously, you're going to need a Windows based computer. You're going to need to get the Java software downloaded on your computer first, and then we'll go through how to get the Train Tech View software downloaded on your computer after that. A couple of the things you're going to need is uh, obviously a Windows-based laptop, like I mentioned earlier. You're also going to need a RS-232 serial to USB converter. I recommend the DTEK converter. It seems to be pretty reliable. Uh, I had some issues with some other cheaply made converters in the past, and this one seems to hold up really well over time. Moving on here, the first thing you're going to need to do is get the older version of Java software downloaded on your computer first so we can run the TechView program. If you go to oracle.com, I'll walk you through how to go ahead and find the correct version of software that you're going to need. Uh, the link is in the description for this. Once you're on Oracle's website, go ahead and scroll down to the page until you come to this Windows x86 offline version of the software. Uh, make note that the highlighted version is the correct version that you have. There's a bunch of different variations on there. You want to make sure that you get the correct version, otherwise your software is not going to work. Go ahead and double click on that link. Once you double click on the link, you're gonna get prompted to review Oracle's terms and conditions. Go ahead and review those and check the box there and hit download. Once you hit download, Oracle is probably gonna ask you to go ahead and create an account. It doesn't take very long. Go ahead and create an account quick. You need it in order to download the software. You can delete the account when you're done. You just need it for downloading the software. Once your download is complete in your web browser, go ahead and double click on that and it will take you to the setup of Java. So go ahead and get that installed and set up properly. And then you're ready to move on to the next step. The next thing you're gonna need to do is get the Train Tech View software. Um, Train has it on their website for free. I have a link for it in the description. It'll take you right to the page. Go ahead and click on that and it'll take you right to Train's website. Once you're at Train's website, go ahead and click both of those TechView tabs. You'll need to download the standard TechView software and then you'll also need to download the service pack. The service pack has the latest versions of all the software for every CH530 controller on the market. It has all the software for each model number chiller you could need already installed in the service pack. So you won't need to do any other software downloads or anything like that. It's all in the service pack. Once your train TechView software is downloaded in your web browser, go ahead and double click on that and continue to set up all the application on your computer. Just run through that really quick. Won't take you very long. And then after you've done that, you have software and it is ready for use. Just want to make a quick note here, you guys. With the Train Tech View software, you're not going to be able to do anything on the software itself until you guys actually get the computer hooked up to a controller. I'm not sure why it is. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but you're not going to be able to do anything until you get hooked up to a computer or sorry to a controller also another quick note the license key function up in the upper corner that is irrelevant you guys don't have anything to do with that so you don't need to do anything with that you should be good to go as long as you hook it up to a controller it should work just fine i'll be making some more videos here in the future on how to bind sensors download software on controllers and some other tricks you can use the tech view software for we didn't have any of this information when I was coming up in the trade. So if you guys found this information useful, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel so we can produce more content like this to help everyone learn more and share knowledge.